In the Carmaker GUI, the possible use of root type expressions is indicated by a special icon, a blue function symbol f of x. That means you can use root type expressions in each input field which is marked with this icon. What are the fields of application? Return expressions can be used to evaluate logical statements in each simulation cycle. They can serve as dynamic end conditions in the maneuver definition here, or as trigger for mini maneuver comments there. Even in other Carmaker models like the traffic GUI, we can use return expressions for start condition for traffic objects, and also on higher levels for test run or session commands for a special behavior. Within real-time expression statements, the use of existing user-accessible quantities is possible, and also new quantities can be defined inside of an expression. They can be only locally and temporarily defined. For a full list of the function description, please have a look in the user's guide. Chapter Real-time expressions Let's now try two different examples in order to have a practical basic understanding. First of all, I need a suitable test run for the two examples. I will use an already created test run for this case, which is defined by a straight road created in a scenario editor. And an acceleration phase to the end of the route described in the maneuver GUI. The first example will show you how to handle the integral function listed in the user's guide. There are three parameters required. I'm going to use the velocity of the ego vehicle, which will be integrated over time, and the integration calculation should start with an ego vehicle velocity greater than zero. If the calculation is correct, we should see the exact same value for the endpoint man distance, which is storing the driven distance for this particular mini maneuver. First, I navigate to the maneuver GUI and create the required quantity in order to store the calculated value. First is a built-in function, which is also described in our user's guide chapter real-time expressions. The first function can contain a condition but without any condition, the right part besides the question mark will be executed only once in the beginning of the simulation. Hence, the quantity will be created once directly in the beginning and I'm going to avoid that this quantity will be created every time. After I've written this highlighted part, I can define a specific name for the quantity. In this case, I will call it user point man dist and set it equal to zero. Now I will switch to the next mini maneuver. Here I'm going to define an integral function. I have to write the following line. Evolve is required to tell the simulation that the following line should be handled as a real-time expression and not as a mini maneuver command as expected. Now I have set up everything and we can start the simulation. I will let it run with 5 times real-time. And open my Gmovie to visualize the scenario. The simulation is done and we can investigate the results. We open the direct variable access window under application and select the created quantity. We can already see that there is a value stored. As you can see, the endpoint man this, which is the by default calculated maneuver distance by the simulation and user point man dist, are equal and hence the calculation seems to be correct. 
Let's now try another example by extending the actual test run configuration. I will create another quantity called user.delta_t, which will store the pass time between two measurement points. And I write the required line in the next mini maneuver. The delta 2 ew function will measure the change of the first mentioned quantity between two measurement points which are defined by conditions. In this case I want to calculate the time span between 100 and 200 meters of the S coordinate of the road. I will print out the result to the session log with another special mini maneuver with a duration of 0 seconds. This mini maneuver will be executed in the end of a simulation and contains the definition of the log message in the following way. And now it's done. Let's start a simulation and have a look on the results. As we can see, the Eagle vehicle required around 4 seconds to drive between the defined measurement points. Please feel free to try out the other available product examples for real-time expressions, which are available via clicking on File, Open, Product Examples, Examples, Basic Functions, Real-time Expressions.